On May 1, 1960, U.S. Air Force pilot Gary Powers was shot down over the Soviet Union in his U-2 spy plane. In Moscow, Nikita Khrushchev is shown as he told the Soviet Presidium that pilot Gary Powers of the downed American reconnaissance plane was alive and that Russia had seized spy photographs made 1,400 miles inside Soviet borders. For two years, he was held prisoner, while back home the U.S. government worried he was spilling secrets of his high-tech jet. Since the Cold War, the demand for spy flights has only grown, as the military becomes more and more dependent on information. But no one is willing to risk a Gary Powers incident over, say, Afghanistan. Plus, human pilots just can't stay up in the air long enough. Luckily, there was an easy fix to both problems. Keep the high-flying spy plane with its sophisticated cameras and radars, but lose the pilot. The result was Global Hawk, a $50 million flying robot. Unmanned aerial vehicles have played an increasing role in 21st century air operations. A Global Hawk usually takes off from some secret overseas airbase and spends 24 hours orbiting 60,000 feet over enemy territory. The air vehicle is flown by pilots located in a mission control element that use satellite links for command and control. Global Hawk was still just a prototype when the U.S. invaded Afghanistan in 2001, but the Pentagon couldn't wait to send it into battle. Just two of the huge roboplanes could keep round-the-clock surveillance over the entire country. Question is, could the military's enthusiasm for spying drones have implications outside the war zone? Well, it already has. In October, Global Hawk flew its first mission in the U.S., spotting California wildfires on behalf of firefighters. But the idea of robot spy planes orbiting over the United States worries many civil rights advocates. The MQ-9 Predator B unmanned aircraft system was recently rolled out in Arizona featuring the latest generation in surveillance technology. Last year, the Customs and Border Service began flying small Predator spy drones over the U.S.-Mexican border, looking for illegal migrants, a practice that has alarmed activists who fear the militarization of U.S. immigration policy. The U.S. government spends about $100 billion every year collecting information, much of it from spy planes like Global Hawk. Spy planes are a part of the Pentagon's war strategy to gain total awareness of the battlefield. But even those who are comfortable with the idea of spying robots haven't answered another basic question. Does all that information actually help? 